Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am looking kind of crazy right now because I do not have my lashes on. And that's because, as you saw by the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to apply lashes and specifically using the newer Velour Lash & Go Liner Hybrid. So whether you are new to applying lashes and you're just kind of wanting to see the process of how to properly apply them, or if you're interested in the Velour Liner Lash Glue Hybrid, this is definitely going to be the video for you. Now before we get into the video, I have an exciting announcement. I am in the process of starting my own business, which I'm so excited about. I'm not going to go into too much detail in this video because I do want to make like a whole separate video kind of explaining the process of starting a business um, and then also explaining more about my business. So there will be a whole video on that, but I am going to be selling some press on nails custom made these are a set that I have made here I'm not gonna get too ahead of myself but my brand is gonna be called envision beauty and like I said I'll be making a whole video kind of behind my brand talking more about that in a different video if you guys saw what I got for Christmas I actually got a bunch of nail stuff which is what I asked for because I have started to wanting to do my nails at home and I've been doing them and I really love them but because I have access to doing them at home, I want to change my nails so frequently and I discovered press-ons and I was like, that is kind of the perfect solution. I can change my nails like weekly to something different and do more fun things. I've noticed press-on nails have really become popular because of the salons being closed down and people doing nails at home has become a really big thing so I thought this was a good opportunity to start a business. I've always wanted to have my own business so I'm very excited about it. My goal is to launch the brand on March 1st. I will have all of my social media for my brand linked down below if you want to go follow me. Instagram and Facebook, I'll be posting a lot of like product shots and things to know, stuff like that. Just kind of staying up to date with the brand and then I also am making a TikTok that will also be like up to date things but a lot of like behind the scenes as well if you want to see like how I make the nails and like shipping stuff all of that kind of stuff will be mostly like TikTok related so definitely I would love if you guys went and followed all of my social media for my brand and there will definitely be posts coming soon for that but yeah I'm very excited I really love this set this is my first time trying press-ons and I'm on day five and they are doing incredibly well like honestly press-ons before made me very skeptical because I'm used to the you know the old kiss press-ons you would get at Claire's when we were younger and they never stayed on but these these are like heavy heavy duty like these are not going anywhere I'm not gentle with my nails I've been wearing them to work doing my regular daily routines and I haven't lost any they've been doing really really good so I'm super impressed and I cannot wait to start designing and start selling. So I really hope you guys follow me along for that journey. And yeah, more details to come soon. I am so excited and I just wanted to announce that because it's like kind of official now. So anyways, we're gonna get into the video. So like I said, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to apply lashes and specifically using the Velour Lash & Go liner. So the reason I wanted to do this video was because I've discovered the Lash & Go liner I want to say like mid last year whenever it came out and since then I've been completely obsessed with it I've mentioned it many times on my channel but I've never really demonstrated how to properly use it and it is a little bit different than lash glue and I feel like some people might get it not realize how to properly use it and then just give up on it and be like ah it doesn't work I don't like it or whatever and I feel like it's such an innovative product so I really wanted to demonstrate how I personally use it and and yeah how it works for me so that's what we're going to be doing today before we get started make sure that you subscribe down below and also give this video a thumbs up also I would love if you left me some video ideas because I feel like I've been really struggling especially right now because I've been focusing so much on my brand I haven't been coming up with any good ideas so definitely if you have any videos you want to see from me leave them down below I zoomed you guys in so that we could get started so the lashes I'm using today these are from Tiffany Teal Collection I've mentioned this many times on my channel. This is a local business in Edmonton, Alberta where I live and one of my favorite lash brands. I know it's such a big thing to like support local, support small businesses. So if you really want to show some support to a small business, I highly recommend these lashes. Like the quality is incredible. This is my favorite style. This is in the style Elizabeth and yeah, these are my 
favorite lashes personally i have not opened and like cut these up yet because i've been specifically waiting to do this video so that i could show you guys the entire process and i will also have a link down below of where you can shop for these lashes so starting off the first thing that i do is obviously want to take it out of the packaging i always start from the outer corner because sometimes you have to be gentle if you pull them out like really roughly there is a chance you could rip the lash band or damage the lashes i've done that with different brands before so i always pull from the outer corner because i will definitely be trimming these lashes but yeah you don't want to force it you want to be gentle enough that you're not going to completely damage the lash but even if you damage just a little bit of the end there like i kind of did because i'm not positioned right to be doing this um, but it's okay because I'm cutting it off anyways. All right, so we got the lash there. Now, the next thing you want to do is measure it to your eyes because usually the lashes come quite large so that they can fit everyone's eyes, but you will have to cut them down to be custom to you. What I recommend is always cutting from, I mean, sometimes for me, it depends on the style of lash, but I usually always like 99% of the time I cut from the outer end. A lot of the times the lashes on the inner portion are shorter and kind of get longer as they get more into the band so that they're not uncomfortable on the inner part of your eye and they're not like hitting this area. So if you cut on the inner portion, you're going to end up with like lashes that are this long and they're going to feel very uncomfortable and like be tickling your lot um your eyelid and you just it's not you don't want to do that <laughs> so definitely always cut from the outer corner another thing to keep in mind is when they are in the box this is the way that they're going to apply to your lashes so you don't want to go in this way and like pick you know pick this one for this eye they are always left to right so if you hold them up this way you're gonna know that this lash is gonna be for your right eye. It's important to know that because once again, a lot of the styles will have shorter lashes on the inner part. So you want to ensure that that's actually going on the correct inner corner. My biggest piece of advice when it comes to cutting down lashes, do it very slowly, little by little. Do not cut off a big chunk. I've done that many times where I overestimate and I'm like, yeah, that should be fine. I cut it off and then it's way too short and the lash is basically ruined at that point you want to take little by little because it's much easier to take it off but if you take too much you're kind of done for you can't add it back on so I'm gonna take my lash and I go to my lid and I just kind of prop them on to kind of see how they're looking so we can see for my eye here it's way too long so I definitely need to trim it down now I have experience doing this so I kind of am good at estimating I take my little scissors I'm gonna cut off like that entire little section there and then we're going to remeasure see how that is still too long so I'm going to cut off this is where I start to take little by little I'm going to just like trim this section this bundle of lashes in half to see how that looks before taking off the entire thing do a little bit more this process definitely is tedious but Again, it is much better to take your time than to rush it and end up ruining your lashes that you paid $20, $30 for. So that's definitely looking better. Now I notice with this specific lash, this is a little bit long on the inner corner for me. So what I usually do is trim it a little bit. This is personal preference. You definitely can leave them long, but I do like it when it's more of like shorter to longer. So I don't just go a straight across. I usually will try to do it at an angle so that it kind of gives it that wispy look still. So I just take it and I cut it up at an angle. Any of the little ones that are kind of hanging around you don't want to do a too much of a setting because you want to still make sure that the lashes all go well together now you definitely could leave your lash like this long or like this wide um i this is my personal preference but i don't like having it so far on the inner part here i like to bring it more probably about there because i usually use liner there anyways to kind of fill the gap but i just find that i it gets very uncomfortable and it kind of like tickles my lap or it tickles like in this area and I don't like that. So just for personal preference, I do cut it down a little bit, but you just want to make sure that it is comfortably from the outer corner to the inner corner. You don't want it hanging off. I feel like that's really important because if it hangs off your 
actual lash line it looks very obvious and very weird so i'm just gonna take a once again i'm just cutting off like not even a full half but like just a little quarter piece of that bundle of lashes there especially with lashes like this where they're kind of like in bundles i don't recommend like especially if it's still too long i don't recommend going in and cutting off the entire bundle because it's if you cut off the entire bundle a lot of times it's going to end up being too short so if you just cut the bundle off in sections even if there's just a little bit of lashes left there it's still going to make sure that the length of the lashes is long enough and it doesn't look odd but it's going to take off some of that as well and it makes it a little bit softer as well so yeah i'm happy with the way that those lashes look so then you're going to repeat the exact same thing on the other eye my other tip is not to cut your other lash the exact same as this you still want to do the whole process of measuring because sometimes people's eyes are different sizes or different shapes so the lash can sit and look differently so if you go off of the exact size of this one and your eye is bigger on one side, it's going to end up being too small. So I just highly recommend taking the extra time to fully measure the lashes to your lash. One other thing I like to do, some brands will have the inner corner band come out a lot and I find if it is long it will really like poke your inner corner and be super uncomfortable so I always recommend cutting off whatever excess band is there you don't want to cut into the actual lashes um, but just if there's a little bit of that extra band hanging out this one really doesn't have much but some of them have like quite a long one if you leave it on it is going to be poking your inner corner all day and it's going to be incredibly uncomfortable so definitely cut that off if it is long okay so my lashes are good i've measured them and they're all good to go next step curling them just helps them like blend into the fake lashes a much better so i like to just give a little bit of a curl the next thing that i do is apply my mascara now if you're using regular lash glue, that's what I would recommend you do as well, is now is the time to apply your mascara. But this is an eyeliner. So when I first started using this, I would do the liner first and I'd do the lash, like apply the mascara after because that's just kind of what seems the correct order to me. This glue dries down incredibly fast. So in order to make sure that this stays nice and tacky so that you can actually get your lash on you want to make sure that you do all of these little steps before applying this because once you apply this you only have a few seconds so i do my mascara first before i apply the liner and like i said if you were doing lash glue you would also be doing this as well applying your mascara i'm going in with the charlotte tilbury pillow talk push-up lashes i actually really enjoy this mascara for more of a lengthening effect this one is really nice for my lashes and my lashes are very stubborn so fine i have a hard time recommending mascaras now you're not needing to do much you're just wanting to coat your lashes so that they're nice and black and will blend into the fake lashes if you are applying lash glue regular lash glue this is where you would want to apply the glue onto the lash band you want to make sure because when you put your lash on it is going to be sitting kind of on top of your lashes and pressed against the skin so you don't want to have the lash glue too high up on the band and you want to kind of play around see where the lash band is going to meet your lid and that's where you want to apply the glue so you want to apply a nice even coat of lash glue what i usually like to do when i'm using lash glue is i apply a little bit extra on the inner corner and the outer corner because for me and i think for most people those are the areas that lift the easiest so you want to ensure that those areas have extra glue but I will show you how to um, like fix that at the end as well if it's not enough or whatever it may be and then with lash glue you want to let it get tacky and usually depending on the brand of glue this is something that you'll have to kind of trial and error with some are really quick some take longer for example the velour like original lash glue for me i think it takes about 15 20 maybe even 25 seconds to get it to a point where it's tacky enough that it'll stick it is very important that you let the lash get tacky if you do not let it get tacky it is not going to stick on your lash and it's going to be such a pain in the butt to work with 
So let it get tacky and then once you apply it, it will be super easy breezy to work with. But the difference with this is the fact that you do not want to let this get tacky and that's the area I feel like people are going to mess up with when using this especially if you're already used to using lash glue and you have the idea in your mind that you need to let it get tacky this is completely opposite you do not want this to get tacky you want to apply your lashes immediately so do not go and do both eyes don't sit there and play around with a wing liner and then try putting the lash on that's not going to work now there's two ways that you can use this one you can do just a regular straight line on your lid so that your lash can stick to it. You can do wing liner with this, but if you're gonna do wing liner with this, you wanna get your wing done and everything, and then you're gonna wanna apply another layer where the lash is going to stick to, because by the time you're done your wing, the, lash, like, the liner's gonna be completely dry and it's not gonna stick. So if you're gonna do a wing with this, make sure that you apply another layer for it to stick onto. The only downside I find with this is it is a little bit more of a shiny finish and I definitely prefer matte. So I will sometimes go over areas with a matte liquid liner. But other than that, like this is like a game changer for me. I absolutely love it. Now that we have our lashes prepped, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. I'm just gonna do the straight line across my lid and I'm only doing one eye at a time, okay? And you don't put anything on the lash band. This is just going on your eye. You're gonna take it and just do a nice thin line against your lash line. I mean, you can make this as thick and bold as you want. I like to keep it fairly slim but you wanna make sure that there's enough product there for your lash to actually stick onto. I don't worry necessarily about this being too perfect because I usually will go in at the end and touch things up. But what is important is to make sure that you are, like there's enough saturation there because this is glue. So you don't wanna do it too thin of a layer. You want to make sure that there's enough product that your lash can stick on. So I usually do a little bit extra and again, I usually focus a lot of product on the inner and the outer corner. And then you want to pick up your lash with the tweezers and then I usually kind of go up and lay it down. And then I press the center down, give it kind of second to like kind of adhere. And then I go ahead and start pressing the outer and the inner corner down. Now it is still pretty wet, so sometimes it might take a second for it to really adhere to the liner. You just have to play around with it. But within like 10, 15 seconds, the glue is like completely dry. So you just wanna make sure you're not leaving it too long. Otherwise it's gonna dry on you and you're gonna have to redo it. And really make sure that I'm pressing in the inner and outer corner. You can use your tweezers. You can go in with your fingers and make sure that everything's kind of pressed down. Keep in mind, this is wet liner. If you are touching the liner, it's gonna get on your hands. And if you touch anything else, it's gonna get on your skin. So don't go up like touching the liner, just touching the lash band. Now, one trick I like to do, once the liner is almost set, like 75% like dry, I'll usually clamp it through my fingers. This is usually a trick that I do if I made my liner a little bit too thick. If you clamp it down because there's the glue on it, it'll glue that excess liner down towards your um, lash band and it'll take away that thick line. So if you're wanting it to be like incredibly thin and you kind of overdid it, that's a nice trick. We're gonna leave it at that and I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat the process on the other eye. So the lashes are mostly on. I don't know, these are like way more dramatic than I remember. Now the next thing that I do, because like I said, the trouble areas for me are always the inner corner usually, sometimes the outer corner, but if it's not already coming off at this point, it usually doesn't come off throughout the day. It's more just the inner corner. And you can use your tweezers or just your hand. And I kind of pull up on that inner part and I just put a little extra glue right where the end of that lash band is. And then I will take my tweezers and press it in to ensure. If I do this, it is like guaranteed that my lash will not lift the entire day. So I always make sure to take the extra few seconds to do this. And then we'll check, you can see the outer corner and everything else is nice and good, nothing is lifting off. So the next thing that I personally do, you can use the velour liner to do it, but I usually will take like a different black liner and I will connect the inner corner and also just make sure that the line is nice and straight. I also will sometimes take a little bit underneath to ensure there's like no weird like gaps. 
and then I'll usually pull the lash down. This is a little hard to demonstrate, but I pull it down and just make sure that I do a little bit of a straight line. So that eye is basically done. And then I'm just gonna repeat on this eye. And then lastly, I'm just gonna apply some mascara on my lower lashes. All right, there you have it. That is how I use the Velour Lash Glue and also how I apply my lashes. Hopefully this video helped any of you if you're struggling with lashes for the first time or if you've been interested in the Velour Lash & Co liner. I think it's a great product, honestly, for anyone, but especially if you are finding it takes you too long to do lashes, if you're struggling to get your lashes, like the false lashes, close to your um, actual lashes, like if it's looking very obvious, it's great because it really helps hide that. And if you're already someone that uses liner, and then puts lashes on, it just cuts the time in half. So I have really, really loved this way of doing the lashes. It saves me a lot of time in the morning, surprisingly. Okay. Like, it just feels so much quicker and I feel like I hate the process a lot less. So yeah, I really love this product. I think it's incredibly innovative, really, really good. Um, I mean, the reviews are all great on it and it's for a reason. So, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know some video ideas down below because your girl's struggling, so I'd appreciate it. Also make sure that you do follow all of my social media for my new business if you wanna stay up to date on how things are going, the process, launch date, all of that kind of stuff. That'll be the best place to check. Um, and if you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe before you leave and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Oh, 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 oh,